Shabbat Shalom and Barach, everybody. We want to wish everybody a wonderful Shabbat. This week's parsha is Re'eh, my 13th anniversary of being Rabbi of Maorah Torah. Hopefully we could lead the congregation for many healthy and happy and productive years together. We know this week's Shabbat, the Torah gives us the mitzvah of tzedakah, charity. The Torah says if you see your brother in a destitute, destitute situation, don't close your hands. Rather, open your hands and take care of your brother so he shall live and be strong like you. So the Rambam says a very important idea. And that is, the question for today is, which mitzvah do we have to be the most careful about for Mashiach to come? So to take a look at the Rambam, chapter 10, Hilchot Matnot Ani'im. It's such a marvelous and fascinating Rambam. The answer to the question is the mitzvah that we have to be the most meticulous and serious and careful about in order for Messiah, Mashiach to come, is to be benevolent and charitable. Look at the Rambam, Halacha Aleph, Perek Yud. Chayavin, anachnu li'zayar b'mitzvah tzedakah, yoter mikol mitzvot asesha tzedakah. We have to more, be more careful about giving charity pop, properly than any other positive commandment in the Torah. Why? Because sedaka to be a giver, to take care of your brother, to help the synagogue, to help the kolel, to help the yeshiva, to be give charity, to be like this, rather than selfish and stingy. Because why did God pick Abraham? The reason why God fell in love with Abraham and chose Abraham to start the Jewish nation was Shneemar, it says in Parshat Vayera, He yedativ leman asher yitzavet bo etpanav lasot sedaka, because God knew that Abraham will imbue in the DNA of every single Jew of his children. To Abraham taught us one thing: that life is about being a giver rather than a taker. And since God knew that Abraham's legacy is to be kind, to be kind, generous and take care of others, that's why God picked Abraham. So the essence of why we're Jews, why God chose us rather than any other nation is because of tzedakah. And then the Rambam goes ahead, it says, The whole kingdom of God, the foundation of Judaism, is only established with what? Because of charity. And Mashiach, can only come when we're selfless rather than selfish, when we're givers, when we think about the other person rather than only thinking about ourselves. Shinemar, because it's in the Haftarah that we read on Parshat Chazon from Yeshaya. Sion be mishpat tifadeh be hashabeah bistaka. Sion. Where will we go back to our holy city, Jerusalem, where we belong? Only if we're kind. And the Rambam goes ahead and he says, Le'olam en adam ma'ani in astaka. Don't think by you giving, you know, it's incumbent upon every Jew to calculate his net income and give at least 10% after taxes to charity. And if you want to be extra righteous, you must give 20% because Yaakov says Aser ta Aser and the Chavetz Chaim says you give 10% to charity 10% to holy causes like the synagogue the Kolel the Bet Midrash the Yeshivot and the Rambam says don't think you're ever going to become poor from giving charity nothing bad will come out of charity you won't get any damages because of charity how do we know this the Rambam says because and it says in our holy scriptures that the action of giving charity, of kindness, will only bring you peace. So Hashem, we're coming towards Selichot, the most auspicious days of the year, where we have to get up an hour early to pray to the Almighty to forgive us. Because Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur are up right at our doorstep. Let's wake up and realize that to be great, is not how much money you have, but how much of it you share with others and you help holy causes, charity, the orphan, the widow, and 
May Hashem truly help us that this be the last year and we truly be so careful of giving super, being super great in the midst of charity. And when we see Mashiach, Amen.